Superman jammies. Right, now, as you know, I've defended the Justice League film. I, I liked it, it was fine. And if you've seen my other posts, I've, all, I've always said, you know, um, about the Zack Snyder cut. And it's, it's like a, I sit on the fence, I defend everything, okay? DC supporter first, Zack Snyder fan second. So I have just listened to is it Chris Pong, Chris Wong or something, and he made a video recently uh, about, he's, I mean every video he does basically is about the Zack Snyder cut, I mean he 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 wants it. He'll you know he dreams of it and everything else. And he and he says that um, you know until Warner Brothers comes out and and says th that there's no cut and it'll never be released, then he'll not give up, which is a good idea because it's a passion. Right? You cannot kill a dream until it's dead. Okay. Until it's um, and then I listen to Film Junkie. It's a wee bit temperamental, the same way as well. We all are, um, but he's got his vision and he's 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 stuck to his vision and everything else. And he's the right and he's got the so-called source, just like everybody else. And it's up to you if you if you believe him or believe anybody, believe me or whatever. Uh, now. Me having no source, having not not one inkling of information of what's behind the scenes, just a guy from from Scotland. Uh I've got no say whatsoever. But like so many people out there, uh that would love another cut of the film. As I say, I would love every different director's cut there is for every movie, especially for ones that I enjoy. If it's going to give me more footage, more minutes of a movie, where it make it worse or make it better, I'm I'm for it, especially. If, for me, if it's a movie that I enjoy, of course I want an extra 10, 20, 15 minutes. I don't care. You know, if people think, oh, make it worse. No, if I enjoyed it, I want to see more of it. And the fact that I enjoyed Man of Steel and BVS, and the, the hint that Zack Snyder's film as um, we never got to see in its full entirety, means I would I would like you know I would be curious I would, I would I would like to see it. Now of course I've said in my other videos, there's a very slight chance of the Zack Snyder happening at Comic Con and don't you know don't get your expectations up. But. You know, because we've got, and I've said, and I've said in the last video about, um, or oh, if they announce the Zack Snyder cut, then it will take all the attention away from the other news, which is rubbish. Okay, because we will all get excited for every DC news that we get. What I really dislike is people's people that just don't understand. The passion, for and and the need, for something, and uh, and the film John Case came out, and I probably misquote him, and I apologise, but the impression he gave to me, was that um, Warner Brothers wants to move on, and look to the future, and with Justice League, they finish with it. Okay, they they made mistakes, whether you like it or not, but Warner Brothers feels like they made mistakes, and we should move on. Rubbish, okay. Like I said before, if somebody says it's dead, it's finished. If Warner Brothers comes out and says it, then of course. But Warner Brothers must realize that there's a huge fan base out there at Zach, for Zack Snyder that will never, never give up. Now I don't recall much of a big, huge fan base asking for the Richard Donner cut. Okay, I don't remember the big news or, or gang petitions online for this Donner car. But this Zack Snyder car, 
people will demand it. And no matter what DC brings out, no matter what DC movie comes out, people will always hashtag release the Snyder Cut. And Warner Brothers has to, re to um, come to terms with that. And I'm not saying release it in the cinemas, but we all know what's happening with Disney Star Wars right now. Now how Disney has ruined Star Wars. Now how they claim to have something like nine other movies planned and uh, to go forward. I'm not caring anymore. I am finished with Star Wars. They could bring out 20 in one year. I would not see another one. They destroyed it for me. And there's nothing they can do to fix that because I'm stubborn. Only The only time I would go and see a Star Wars film now is if George Lucas was behind it. And he somehow he rehashes whatever the shit that's happened. And that's the exact same thing for me uh, and for many other people out there. I know I can't speak for them, but I'm, I'm surmising this is how they feel. They will not, j just like uh, the, the, the Darkest Hour with uh, Winston Churchill, we will never surrender. You know, we will never surrender. You know, you do not surrender when you um, talk about peace when your head is in the tiger's mouth. No, they, uh, it's, it's a worse impression, I know. But people are passionate, okay? People that were passionate for Zach, people will not, not let this go. They will, they will, it will harm Warner Brothers, okay? It will, people will have a gripe towards Warner Brothers. And this is something that Warner Brothers has got. To, they cannot just sweep it under the carpet. They cannot just say, Forget about it, it's done, we're finished with Justice League. No, we know you want the Zack Snyder cut, yes, we know it exists. But we don't want to talk about it, we want to talk about all these new coming from... No! The fans will say it at every single Comic-Con ever. And no matter what any YouTuber says or whatever, people will have that in the back of the mind. That they want to see Zack's film. Now, unless Zach comes up and says, it's not happening, people. It's not happening. You will never see it. Then no one will ever, ever give up asking for it. So it's down to you, Zach. And it's down to Warner Brothers to say something or to stop this sort of dislike to Warner Brothers. I'm not saying these people will stop watching... DC films, but um, because we're DC fans, we, we will go and see it. But in our back of the minds, there will be that bit of dislike, that bit of hatred. Because Warner Brothers, and I see it on my page all the time, and other groups and stuff, Warner Brothers ruined their previous movies by getting involved. And the only way they can somehow smooth those edges is to at least release the Snyder Cut. Give fans what they want because they will never, never stop asking. Thank you.